Hi guys, uh, welcome to my new studio. Da -da, da -da, da -da. I just moved, uh, we just moved to a different town and we're in a different house. And I actually have a dedicated room to use for all of my crafting videos. So, um, this is the first video in my new studio. I'm very excited about it. It's something different than uh, the way that I, well, not the way that I used to do videos because it's going to be basically the same, but it's different. It's a different type of crafting video because I've been doing a lot with resin uh, cups and molds and coasters and stuff like that. But this time there's going to be no resin. I have no intention of using resin uh, whatsoever. Uh, so this is what I'm using to get started. I, um, hold on, let me take all these little pieces off here. I got this board at, I think I was at Hobby Lobby. Um, and I used, you know, you get one of those coupons that you can get 40% off or whatever. I moved the hanging piece. It was here, so it was going to hang like this. And I moved it to here, so it would hang like this. Because I am, I'll put this back on here, right? I am going to be making a jewelry board i don't even know what to call it it's gonna hang on the wall um i got these little hooks these little i'm sure there's a word a proper word for them uh, these are seven eight inch and i'm going to put these along the bottom here so i can hang necklaces on them and then i got these little curtain rod pieces that you put up on your wall and i plan on putting those like here-ish and I bought this, it was the only thing at the store at the time, but now looking at it, I just, I don't think I like the look of it. So I'm either going to get um, like a piece of wood, like a dowel or another kind of something to stick across here so that I can hang my jewelry on here and it's removable, pop it on and off, pop it on and off. Um, so that I could put my bracelets on there and they could hang and then my necklace can hang. And then I'm gonna use my Joy, my Cricut Joy, and some black, I've got the Smart Vinyl that you use with the Joy. And I will show you guys in a little bit the design that I made on my computer in the Cricut Design Space that I'm gonna put up here on the top. And it says, Darling You Dazzle, which I thought was adorable. Um, so that is what we are going to do today in today's video. Uh, thanks for watching, we'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, we are here for uh, the second part of this video. I decided that the first thing I wanted to do was get my vinyl cut and put on my board so I could tell exactly where I wanted to put the, uh, the bracelet bar that I'm gonna put on there. So step one is printing vinyl. So we're in my Cricut Design Space and I have my Joy hooked up with my vinyl so that we can get that going whenever we get to it, but I wanted to show you guys something before we got to actually making the project. So this is my, um, this is my design that I'm going to put on my board. And if you hit make it, you will see that the, oh, we have to hit without mat since I have the smart vinyl. I don't use the mat. It rearranges all of your letters in a nice, neat, organized fashion but that <laughs> that is not what I want to do I want it all to print I'm gonna hit cancel I want it to print like this so I'm gonna select all of this and I'm gonna come down here to the bottom and I'm gonna hit this attach button which is going to make it one solid piece instead of individual letters so that now when I go and I hit make it it is going to be look oh how pretty it's going to be exactly how I wanted it to be. And um, you cannot see this because I'm recording my screen, but I have my vinyl all hooked up to my Joy. And so I hit without mat and we're going to hit continue. To continue, connect to your Joy. Oh, it's connecting. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So set base material. I have smart vinyl permanent. Uh, pressure default, load materials into the machine, checking the length to make sure I have enough, and I know that I do because I have the whole roll attached. 
and I'm going to, all right, is it starting? Oh, no, I have to hit go. Hi, Dolly. All right, we have hit go. And it might... All right, so we have our vinyl that I um, just finished cutting on my joy. I put my joy away and I am cutting off the piece that I actually cut. And I put that part away. And now actually, I uh, made a bit of a rookie mistake uh, whenever I was doing this and I forgot to attach all of my letters so that they cut as one solid stream. And so I have a couple pieces where uh, one piece isn't quite connected to the next piece and sometimes it cuts into the next letter but shouldn't be that big of an issue since I'm gonna transfer it all over anyways. So what we're going to do right now is we're gonna weed all of this out. Um, I might speed this part up because it's kind of boring to watch. And then I will use my transfer tape that I have. I've got the uh, Cricut Joy transfer tape. Um, and then I will show you guys how I transfer it over onto my board, which is back here behind me. So first we weed out this, and then we transfer it onto the board, and then we'll move on. about 12 inches so hmm. I'm really not that worried about it but I know I should be and my husband when he edits this video he's gonna be like Damn I. but I don't really care now oh look how cute that is okay I'm gonna just I'm gonna move this way a little bit Beautiful, I'm, I'm just loving that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're gonna push this down. I'm gonna use, no, I'm gonna use the back of my fingernail. Like this, ooh, wobble, wobble. And actually, since this is permanent vinyl, if you just kind of push this down and let it sit for a while, it would adhere better, but I'm trying to get this video done today. So I'm just gonna, wow, look at that. Oh, nope, my little sloopies. Come on, little sloopies. Okay, that one is staying and this one is not. We just need to disconnect it. Oh, and the eye. Aha. Such a mess of that, but you can see the letters. 
All right. Now that that is on, I'm gonna make sure all of my letters are pushed down, connected. Although some of them broke off this little part of the G here. I'll probably cut that piece. But I think it looks adorable. I might put some little somethings on there. We shall see. But now I know, I don't know how much of this you can see in the video. Now I know how much space I have to attach the rest of my pieces. Um, trying to decide if I want to drill a hole and then put these on or not. I think I'm going to step away and uh, think about that and then I will come back and we will finish the video. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, okay, so I got my drill and my little drill bit that I'm going to use. My husband picked it out for me. Um, so I think this is generally about where I'm wanting this to go, but I'm going to measure from the bottom of the board up and see exactly how far it is on one side and then make the other side even. I think that's probably the best way to go about it. I like this one because it comes out and it stays. You don't have to like fight with it. Okay, put that there. Oop. Need a little bit more. Okay, gonna go right up to the bottom of the piece. And that is 10 inches. So I'm just going to know this side. This is not like the best procedure in the entire universe. However, I'm kind of like a wing it kind of person, so good. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my Sharpie and I'm gonna mark my holes and then I'm gonna drill. All right, so we are back. Uh, I had a bit of an issue, so the video where I put these pieces on did not record for some reason. So I'm just gonna tell you guys what I did whenever I was putting these pieces on. So I lined up this one here about where I wanted it to go and then I measured and then I lined this one up and I used a Sharpie and I put holes or dots where I wanted my screws to be up here so that I could drill the holes out and then screw in the pieces. And on the bottom, which I don't think you can see there, on the bottom here, I measured all the way across and then I just took my pieces and I, it's not perfect, but I just made them about an inch and a half apart along the bottom and I marked those holes. And then I used my, it's not in there anymore, but my drill bit and I drilled holes for all of my pieces. And then uh, these ones on the bottom, they just screw in. And then this one, I started with the drill and then I switched to a hand tool because of the angling here. It was very difficult to get the drill to line up with that. So I started it and then I used the screwdriver to finish. So I'm going to put this on here to show you guys, um, well, it's not gonna look like this because I'm not gonna use this rod because I don't like the, I just don't like the way that that one looks. I may not care once they get it put up and put on the wall. But I'm gonna go and I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put necklaces and bracelets on here and I'm gonna put it up on the wall and then I'm gonna take a picture and I'm gonna add it to the end of the video so you guys can see uh, what we came up with. And I hope you guys will do some projects of your own at home. You know, you never know until you try how things are gonna work out. But I think I really like the way that this came out. I like my vinyl piece even though it was a little difficult today it wasn't very nice to me today but it worked out and i think it looks awesome so i hope you guys will like and subscribe to my channel or is that how it goes let's go try subscribe to my channel and like my video and i will see you guys next time all right guys this is not going to be the straightest video because i'm taking it with my phone in my hand but i just wanted you guys to see this up on the wall i still have this rod on here because I have not gone to the store and got another one. And I had a bigger space here than I anticipated. So I put on another sticker that I already had out of a book, which I think is really funny. So 
this is my creation all done up on the wall and I put some of my jewelry on it so that you guys can see what it looked like. I hope that you guys will try to make some fun stuff yourselves.